What's happening guys, it's Shane here. So I'm gonna be doing an update video on my very popular top five master's degree video that I did last year. And so that's what we're here for. I'm not gonna do a long intro or anything like that. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the uh, like button. Uh, hit the notification bell and let's get started. And basically we're gonna be going over the top master's level degrees. Master level degrees are basically like six year degrees, although sometimes they can be done in shorter amount of times or longer amounts. But yeah, number nine on the list, we're doing top nine this time, is going to be science related master's degrees. Okay, so these are gonna be a lot of science related master's degrees. And the thing about science degrees at the bachelor's level is unfortunately they aren't as good as the other STEM related degrees. However, the same thing kind of goes with master level degrees as well. But I would say science degrees at the master's level are a little bit better, especially if you know what you're doing, you've done your research. And so that's why it did make it into the top nine. Next on the list is going to be speech language pathologist. This is usually a master's level degree. It's a health degree where you help people who have speech and swallowing disorders. One thing you wanna pay attention to here is debt to income ratio, and with this one, it's 2.7 to one. That's bordering on being on the high side, but this one has very high job satisfaction, decent pay, extremely good demand, and that's why it makes it into the number eight spot. Number seven on the list is going to be occupational therapist. Now, this one is very similar to physical therapist, Physical is moving more towards the doctorate uh, direction. Occupational therapist is still kind of in master's level direction, at least that's what it says on BLS, although it could be moving towards doctorate as well. Very, very, very high job satisfaction here. Maybe the highest job satisfaction out of just about any career out there. It's seriously like top five. 3.2 to one debt to income ratio, which is a little bit scary. Uh, but overall, this is still a pretty good one. Next on the list is going to be a college professor with a master's level degree. Now, a lot of the time, in order to become a college professor, you're gonna have to get a PhD. However, sometimes you can become a professor with just a master's degree if you go to a community college, for instance. About a 1.8 to one debt to income ratio, which is fantastic. Um, if you are able to become a professor, this is a super awesome gig. Very difficult to get there. There's just not that many spots open. So a lot of people will try to become professors, then they fail, and so they kind of just wasted their time if they spent too much time going after the degree if they're not able to get a job in that field. Next on the list is going to be a Master's of Business Administration. This is, of course, a business-related master's degree. Very common degree these days. Uh, this one can be great. I will say, though, that it seems like schools are giving this one out left and right. It, it seems like there's like double majors that have a master's MBA uh, mixed with just about any other type of degree. And so you really want to be careful what school you get your MBA from and make sure that you're getting your money's worth. Number four on the list is going to be technology, engineering, and mathematics related master's degrees. And so this is uh, you know a little bit better than the science related master's degrees. Uh, when it comes to STEM, science is definitely the least good out of the four. However, generally speaking, if you get a technology, engineering, or mathematics related master's degree, you are going to be good to go. There's a lot of opportunity out there for you. I would say in some circumstances, you don't need to get a master's degree. Bachelor's is fine, but it really isn't going to hurt all that much if you get a master's. Next on the list, number three is going to be data science. Data is one of the hottest things out there right now. I've talked about this before on the channel, but I think this is uh, one of the ones that I'm the most bullish on. Now this one has a 1.5 to one debt to income ratio, which is ridiculously low, and there's no surprise there. Now, one thing that I will say about data science is a lot of people think they can become a data scientist uh, without a degree or with a bachelor's degree. Usually, if you wanna be a fully fledged data scientist, you have to get a master's. And that's one of the reasons why I included it on this list. And data science is fantastic everywhere. Uh, how much you get paid, ridiculously high. Lots of opportunity. Uh, job satisfaction, very high in the technology industry. Future outlook looks amazing. Just nothing to hate here, everything to like. Next on the list is going to be a physician assistant, now known as physician associate. And this is basically somebody who can prescribe and diagnose under the supervision of a doctor. 2.1 to one debt to income ratio here, very nice. 
Um, you start off making about six figures a year. You can get much higher than that. You have option to pick up overtime if you want, if you want to make even more money. Tons of jobs out there, extremely flexible. You can very easily switch your specialty. Just a lot of things to like about physician associate fantastic career, fantastic degree to get. Next on the list, number one edges out PA just by a tiny little bit, and that is nurse practitioner with a 1.3 to one debt to income ratio, which is the lowest on the entire list. So this is a master's level nursing degree, extremely flexible. You can do so many different things with it. Relatively easy to switch your specialty as well, at least if you can compare it to a medical doctor. Lots of opportunity. Uh, medical tends to have very high job satisfaction. Just a lot to like about this one. And guys, I didn't go over statistics very much in this video. I do that in tons of other videos on my channel. You can even check out last year's video where I dove much more deeply into the statistics. I kind of just wanted to give you guys an update. You know, a lot has happened uh, in the world with the pandemic. I've also changed my mind on a few things as well. And uh, I think that certain things are going in uh, certain directions, right? So as time changes, as the years go by, uh, you know, there's going to be certain things that change uh, when it comes to the best careers and the best degrees. And so I will always keep you guys up to date on that. And that's exactly what I'm doing with this video. Didn't want to say the exact same thing that I said in last year's video, go over the exact same statistics. And so I just wanted to give you a very quick update. And I hope you guys appreciate that. But anyways, check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Uh, gently tap the like button. Uh, hit the bell notification and comment down below any thoughts, comments, etc. that you have on the video. And I'll see you guys next time.